Well, today has marked 100 years since the destruction of Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. For many years, the massacre had gone ignored by history. And President Biden made history as he traveled to Tulsa to remember all that was lost back in 1921. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here in studio with more on that. Dick? Christina Maurice, the Greenfield District in Tulsa, Oklahoma, was a thriving black community, sometimes called Black Wall Street. But a racist mob burned it down, massacred hundreds, a crime against humanity that's never really been truly recognized in this country properly until now. Hell was unleashed. Literal hell was unleashed. President Biden was the first U.S. president to come to the scene of a national shame, a horrifying chapter of American history that unfolded 100 years ago when an explosion of racial hatred and violence erupted in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think about it every day. I think it'll, it'll be something I'll never forget. 107-year-old Viola Fletcher, one of just three remaining survivors, still remembers the terror. People running and screaming and you could hear guns shooting and... <coughs> Here, airplanes flying over. The white mob killed some 300 black Tulsa residents and burned down more than 30 blocks of black owned homes and businesses in the Greenwood district. Lessie Benningfield Randall is now 106. I saw them break in people's houses and just, just destructive. That's all I saw, just destruction. But history has been silent about the massacre, rarely taught in schools. We do ourselves no favors by pretending none of this ever happened. We can't just choose to learn what we want to know and not what we should know. The infamous day was marked around the nation, including in the Bronx, where lawmakers are introducing new resolutions on the federal, state, and city level to make June 1st Black Wall Street Day. To never forget the Tulsa race massacre as one of the worst acts of racial violence and domestic terrorism in the history of the United States. Incredibly, in its aftermath, nobody was ever charged in the Tulsa massacre, and insurance was never paid out to black residents for the damage. But 100 years later, Leslie Benningfield Randall, a survivor then and now, knows that while a nation tried to forget, she can still help people remember. Well, I guess it was God's will, and I think he might have provided a, a life for me so that I could tell others about it. While in Tulsa, the president proposed new funding to increase home ownership among African Americans and to help minority small businesses and entrepreneurs, but he did not talk about reparations that some residents want for Tulsa descendants. Christina Maurice.